three and four from the day six hyperbola is part two unit 10 homework assignment this is the third to last homework assignment that we have uh, this year which is awesome um, and speaking of numbers this is the second time i've made this video uh, the first time it recorded and i hit saved and then it was just gone <laughs> so this one goes out to everyone who has struggled with technology at least once during the course of this uh, interesting time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and list the center vertices and covertices of these four equations. And we're going to do this without drawing a sketch. All right. So first, I'm going to go through the centers. Um, I like to do one thing at a time so I can keep everything straight in my head. Um, number one, x comes first. Um, so it's going to open left and right. I'm just making note of that right now. Uh, the center is 0, 0 because nothing's happening with x and y. Number two, y comes first. And when they list y first, when it's y squared minus x squared, that means the parabola opens up and down. Uh, the, vert is, or the center is still at 0, 0. So there you go. Number three is going to open left and right again because x is listed first. Um, however, there is a shift right two and down six. Make sure you list the opposite of the numbers that you see with x and y. Minus means right, and in this case, plus means down when it's next to y. So there's my point. Number four, be very careful. Uh, y is listed first, so that means it'll open up and down. But when I list my center, I still need to list it x comma y. So I'll put, I put a little star next to that one because it's very common for people to miss that x first, then y. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the vertices now. Um, so our vertices are always on the curve. So in the case of this graph, which x comes first, so it's going to open left and right, so it's going to look something like that. Our vertices are going to be on the curves. They follow the parabolas. So if x comes first, they're going to be left and right. Um, what's nice about that is they're just it's always given with the first term that's listed in the equation. So there's a 100 underneath x, the square root of 100 is 10. And since x is talking about a shift left or right, and I know my points are left and right from the center because of that little sketch I just drew, I'm going to go left 10 from 0, 0. That would be negative 10 comma 0. And I'm going to go right 10 from 0, 0. Left 10, right 10. That's where my vertices will be. Okay, in number two, this one opens up and down. So the square root of 144 is 12. So I'm going to move up and down 12. Um, so up 12 from 0, 0, and down 12 from 0, 0. Basically 0 plus 12 and 0 minus 12. Okay, number three is back to opening left and right. The square root of 25 is... 5. So I'm going to move left and right 5 from my center. So if I move left 5 from the center, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And if I move right 5 from the center, 2 plus 5 is 7. Notice how the y part of my coordinate points never changed. It's because we didn't move up or down. We only moved left or right to get to the vertices of this parabola. So what's nice is that the vertices are always um, talked about, or the information about the vertices always comes first in a hyperbola. It's maybe a good note to have written down if you're still confused at all about that. The vertices are, are given first. So notice my red a equals 10, a equals 12, a equals 5, and a equals 8 along the left side here. Those are all about the vertices, and they're always first in a hyperbola. Compare that to an ellipse where um, the vertices are always on the major axis, um, and that might come first or it might come second in the equation. It just depends which number is bigger. It's always going to default to the bigger number. But in this one, it always defaults to the first number. So that's helpful to know, at least for me. All right, um, so negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. 
So I think I got my two vertices right there. I went eight away from five comma negative six. And when I say away, I mean down in this case. Down, because y comes first, and that's where the 64 is attached. So y means up and down. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the covertices, they, but they come from the second number. And we're going to end up doing kind of the opposite of what we did with the vertices. So what I mean by that is for number one to find the vertices, we went 10 left and 10 right. For number one to find the covertices, we're going to go not left and right, but up and down. 81 is underneath Y. That means up and down. We're going to go up and down 9 from the center. So we're going to go 0, 9 would be up 9 from the center, and 0, negative 9 would be down 9 from the center. All right, in the second one here, square root of 256 is 16. And that's underneath the x squared term. So that's left and right. So we're going to go left 16 from 0, 0, the center, and we're going to go right 16. Okay. Go vertices always come second. In this case, b is 12, and that's underneath the y squared term. Uh, y is up and down, so we're going to go up 12 and down 12. But we're going up 12 and down 12 from that blue point right there. So negative 6 plus 12 is positive 6, and negative 6 minus 12 is negative 18. Perfect. All right, last one is underneath an x term, so we're going to go left and right. x is left and right, and our distance is 6. So we're going to go left 6. Um, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. And we're going to go right 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. Okay. All right. Next video, we'll work on the next step.